Project Tutorial 4 Automatic Sanitizing Machine. In this project, we will learn how to make an sensor based proximity sensor proximity sensor based automatic sanitizing machine. Okay, starting our video. You are watching Tronics Technical Projects with Shushil Yadav. Okay, in this project, uh, first of all, we will first of all we will gather all the components which we will require for this project. Okay, beginning our project. First of all, we are requiring an power cable. After that. We will require an 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS power supply. We are using this 24 volt 2 ampere power supply because our DC motor pump is operating 24 volt. And we are we for a one reason also uh, we use this SMPS because to increase the life of our system to make it run for a longer period we are using SMPS. Okay, moving further, we will need an buck converter. You can watch in my upcoming tutorials videos. I will upload how the buck converter work. Just for a general review, I will tell you that buck converter is a DC to DC converter, which will convert an high voltage DC to low voltage DC. Okay, there is a potentiometer also. I will explain in my next videos. Okay, moving further, we have we will connect the power cable to our 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS. As you can see that, I will show you, this point is our uh, AC input of our SMPS. Uh, it is noted as line. So, you can connect it one lead of power cable to line of our 24 volt SMPS. Okay, moving further, you will connect the other lead of power cable to the other connection of 24 volt SMPS. I will show you this connection is for neutral. Okay, so you will connect it with neutral. Okay, moving further, this is a neutral, this is a line. Okay, after that we will connect the positive input. I will uh, explain you. First of all, I will show you it is in positive uh, input positive and input negative. And I will show you this positive input of buck converter is connected with the positive of this SMPS. As you can see that this here it is written positive V means positive 24 volt and the negative of input of buck converter is connected with the negative V means negative 24 volt over SMPS. Okay, moving further, we will need an Arduino Uno board. Okay, now this is the positive output of our buck converter and this is the positive, uh, sorry, negative output of our buck converter. Now moving further. We have to adjust the potentiometer of buck converter. Here I have mentioned you, as you can see that, here I have mentioned you, this is an potentiometer of this buck converter. You have to vary that potentiometer and make the output up to 8 volt. Our Arduino Uno board can withstand up to 9 volt. Why we are using this 8 volt? Because our Arduino Uno requires only 5 volt. Because whenever we will supply only a 5 volt to relay, it will trip again and again. It will start again and again. So, to overcome, to overcome from that problem, we have to adjust our output of our buck converter to 8 volt to provide sufficient voltage to our transistor and our relay. Okay, I will explain you in further video. Uh, explain you. Yeah, just uh, moving further. 
ओके नाउ वी हैव टू कनेक्ट द आउटपुट पॉजिटिव ऑफ अवर बक कन्वर्टर टू द वी इनपुट टू द वी इनपुट ऑफ अवर आर्डिनो बोर्ड एंड वी विल कनेक्ट द आउटपुट नेगेटिव ऑफ अवर बक कन्वर्टर टू द ग्राउंड ऑफ अवर आर्डिनो एज यू कैन सी दैट आई विल शो यू दिस इज द नेगेटिव okay it is connected to the ground the negative of uh, buck converter output buck converter is connected to the negative or ground of our arduino uno board okay moving further we will need an ultrasonic sensor why we are using an ultrasonic sensor we can also use ir sensor also ir sensor means infrared sensor infrared sensor is a device just i am just explaining you uh, giving a little bit brief information that why we have not used infrared sensors infrared sensors are work on infrared radiations one sensor one led infrared led sends the infrared radiation it will strike back and again receive by an infrared light but in the day time sun also provide an infrared sun also gives a lots of infrared radiation so it will interface with that inflict with that and we will face a lots of problem so that's why we have used an ultrasonic sensor it works only on the ultrasonic sound waves it will send a sound wave and receive us ultrasonic sound wave just like a bat which which find or navigate so moving further these are the pin configuration of our ultrasonic sensor trigger vcc ground and echo we will connect the positive vcc of our uh, ultrasonic sensor to the positive 5 volt of our arduino uno board as you can see that see it is connected with the positive 5 the vcc of ultrasonic is connected to the 5 volt of our arduino board okay moving further we will connect the ground of our ultrasonic sensor to the ground of our arduino uno board okay we have moved a little bit further but i will explain you okay now this green green wire we have connected the trigger of our ultrasonic sensor with the a1 pin of our arduino uno board a1 pin of our arduino uno board okay just moving further we will connect the echo of our ultrasonic sensor to the pin number a2 of our arduino uno board i will show you this is echo which is connected with the pin number a2 okay moving further we need an opto coupler we need an opto coupler device which is name as mct2 e opto coupler you can watch in my previous uh, sorry we can watch in my further upcoming videos tutorials how we are using or how opto coupler devices are used yeah okay so moving further without uh, wasting time these are the pin configuration of our opto coupler okay we need an 1k resistor to connect directly with the pin number 1 of our opto coupler we are connecting pin number 1 of opto coupler to pin number 8 of our arduino uno okay you can see that so, okay so uh, there is a lots of uh, discussion about it how the opto coupler works but i will give you only a, a small brief explanation uh, you can watch in my upcoming videos uh, in details about the opto coupler opto coupler devices opto coupler devices consist of a led and a photo transistor so whenever a signal goes from arduino to that led it will activate it will glow and activate the photo transistor of of, of our opto coupler and we can control anything by the output of 
फोटो आउटपुट ऑफ फोटो ट्रांजिस्टर सो मूविंग फर्दर वी आर यूजिंग अ वन वी आर यूजिंग अ वन के रेस्टर फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द एल ई इनसाइड ऑप्टो कपलर ओके मूविंग फर्दर ओके मूविंग फर्दर वी विल कनेक्ट पिन नंबर टू ऑफ ऑप्टो कपलर टू ग्राउंड और आउटपुट नेगेटिव ऑफ अवर बक कन्वर्टर ओके मूविंग फर्दर वी विल नीड एन सिक्स ट्वेंटी ओहम रजिस्टर जस्ट कनेक्ट दिस सिक्स ट्वेंटी ओहम रजिस्टर Just connect this 620 ohm resistor with the pin number five of opto coupler, and and the other end of that resist 620 ohm resistor with the output positive of buck converter. You can see that here. Once a second, it is an out output positive. It is connected to the other end of our resistor. Okay. so moving further we need an bc547 npn transistor for as a working as a switch now these are the pin configuration of a transistor base collector and emitter okay moving further we will connect the pin number 4 of opto coupler with base of our transistor as you can see that pin number 4 is connected with the base of transistor now moving further we will connect the emitter to the output negative of our buck converter or we can also say that we can connect the emitter to ground of our system okay moving further we we will need an 5 volt relay and these are the pin configuration of Oh, sorry this are the pin configuration of uh, 5 volt relays we and uh, for safety purpose to protect it from back emf of the coil inside the relay we need an diode so we are using an diode here so we are using an diode here and these are the pin configuration of diode positive side and negative side okay its name is in4007 diode okay moving further we will connect the connector collector side of our transistor to positive of our diode now moving further we will connect that positive side with pin number 1 of our relay and negative side of our diode to pin number 2 of our relay okay we will connect negative side of diode with positive output 8 volt of our buck converter okay moving further for relay tripping indication we will need an led so that's why we are using an led here and these are the positive and negative side of the led small one is negative and big led is positive always remember and we will also need an 10k resistor here to protect it from direct 8 volt because it is a 3 volt led we can't direct connect it with the 8 volt so that's why protecting it we need an 10k resistor okay connecting the positive side of led with the 10k resistor and again connecting the other side of the 10k resistor with the pin number 2 of our relay and after that connect the negative side of the resistor with the pin number 1 of our relay or ground of our system okay the most important part is our dc pump here is our dc pump just uh, have a look this is our dc pump and its ratings are 24 volt here you can see that it's a rating 24 volt 1.8 ampere 80 psi dc motor it is an high pressure high pressure 80 psi dc motor which will 
pump water or any sanitizer and we can convert that pumped water to mist by using a nozzle okay so here we are we are uh, learning how we can control the circuit to operate that mechanism okay that system moving further we will connect there are two wires in our dc motor positive and negative black and red so we will connect the black negative to pin number 5 of our relay and after that we will connect the pin number 3 of our relay to negative output of our smps 24 volt as you can see that it is connected it is connected with the negative of our buck converter that also that is also means that we have connected it with the negative of 24 volt smps now moving further moving further we will connect the positive wire of our dc motor pump directly with the positive 24 volt our smps it is connected here it is connected with input of buck converter which is also connected with the positive 24 volt of smps so that's how that's how our all system circuit on connection works but the most important thing is this system works on the programming of arduino in this below video or below my channel you can see a link to the programming of arduino you can you can purchase it from there okay moving further now we will learn or of now we will see how the now this is the hardware of our system uh, here you can see that whenever we will move our hand above this ultrasonic sensor it is programmed for a particular distance uh, here we have programmed it for 50 cm so whenever we will move our hand above this ultrasonic sensor and distance is less than 50 cm it will automatically send a signal to trigger the to trigger relay and that relay will start our pump dc pump so you can watch in my like, uh, upcoming videos i will i will upload the real working the real working of the sanitizer machine so please watch it uh, we i have implemented in a uh, office and you can watch how it is really work so here it is a just a demonstration purpose video of hardware okay let's continue it's just a demonstration video by which you can see that how our hardware system works